Ladies and gentlemen, today, a review of Renfield. Before I begin, I'm going to read a synopsis from IMDb. Renfield, Dracula's henchman and inmate at the lunatic asylum for decades, longs for a life away from the Count, his various demands and all of the bloodshed that comes with them. I absolutely adore Nicolas Cage, especially when he does something like this, where he really just steps out of his own skin and just dives into a character. He is an actor that just always gives it. It doesn't matter what movie he's playing and what part he's playing in that movie, he will always give you the most work possible for any role. And he does that in this movie as Dracula, for sure. There are moments while he is monologuing as Dracula where I am seeing a thespian as if he is on a stage truly delivering some blood-curdling, menacing. He's not playing a caricature of the Dracula like we're used to, and that's, that's been personified by the counting Dracula on, on Sesame Street. No, this is a fully fleshed out Dracula, and you can really see the work that went into creating that character. It's really good. Good. And honestly, the one of the best parts of this movie. Now for the title character, Renfield, played by Nicholas Holt, also quite a charming character as well. Nicholas Holt has this quality about him where a very sympathetic character that is a really good contrast to Nicholas Cage's Dracula. And their banter is the best part of this movie. It's just fun. And you can really feel the history between those two characters while they're on screen. My biggest criticisms of this movie actually really lie with kind of like the script pacing issues in the beginning. It definitely meanders and drags a little bit. Part of that is because they are trying to also kind of ham-fist this other storyline involving Aquafina and everything that she's trying to do to, fi to figure out what's happening in the plot. And I like Aquafina a lot, and I think she is really funny in this movie. There are just certain jokes that don't quite land for me with Aquafina in a lot of respect. It just kind of feels like she's in a little bit more of a slapstick movie than the more grounded kind of satirical farce. There's just a lot of fun to be had in this movie. From the beginning of the movie, which really does show you a really good representation of the relationship between Nicholas Holt and Nicholas Cage's Dracula, and the mechanics of their relationship, and the things that Renfield has to do to keep his master satisfied, albeit very sinister and dark, are played for some pretty well-made laughs and kind of surprising jump scare laughs as well. This movie is a little darker than you think it probably is going to be, and it's definitely a lot more gore than you think there's going to be as well, but that really all kind of lends to the charm of this movie for sure. I do love the humor as well, and I think that a lot of the humor harkens back to, if you've ever seen the Dracula movie that Mel Brooks made, I believe it's called Dracula Dead and Loving It, there's just a lot of, I actually really adore that movie, I watched it a ton when I was a kid, and there's a lot of humor here that really harkens back to that kind of satirical, dry humor that Mel Brooks is able to put into his movies. And here that's just played with a little bit more of a modern bent to it with modern special effects and modern camera. And just a really grounded performance by both Nicholas Holt and Nicholas Cage, for sure. Aquafina's in this movie, she's always wonderful and really funny. I will say that there are definitely some jokes with her that I don't think properly land for me, but there are people in my audience watching this movie that were laughing out loud at those parts. My biggest criticisms of this movie is that near the second act in the middle, it definitely drags a little bit. And it, it is part of the movie where we get away from Dracula's character. And I'll say that a lot of it definitely works, but we kind of get away from the central conflict of the movie, which is really about Renfield and Dracula. This definitely drags a little bit, and there's definitely some parts in the script and a lot of this part of the movie kind of is filled with jokes that don't quite land all the way and just kind of long drawn out sequences that are kind of played to be slapstick humor, which I do believe, which I definitely think there's gonna be a crowd for. People definitely were laughing in my theater during these parts. It's just for me, it felt like it was just getting away from the real charm of this movie, which towards the end of the movie in the third act, they really got back into it. And it all coalesced with a really kind of surprisingly fun movie for sure. I have to also mention that there's a lot of stunts in this movie as well. It is a lot more action movie than you think it's going to be either. And those sequences are actually done pretty well. There's some like really cool action sequences here that are played for laughs that kind of harken back to like Adam McKay's other guys. If you've seen that movie, you know what I mean. And I think it's just good fun. I give Renfield 
a 7.5 out of 10. A really fun Dracula romp that's filled with a lot more gore than you think it's supposed to be, but with Nicolas Cage playing Dracula, who really never puts on a bad performance, he's really good in this one. And his Dracula is surprisingly sinister and is just fun to watch. Nicholas Holt is a charming guy, but he's able to play, but he's able to play kind of meeker, more, but, he, but he's able to play kind of meeker, more unsure of themselves characters with a kind of charm that is just fun. Really, this movie is at its best when Nicolas Cage is in it and him and Renfield are going toe to toe. And honestly, there's definitely some action set pieces here that kind of rival some big action blockbusters as well. It's kind of crazy. And they're done with a lot more gore than you are prepared for. And there's definitely a lot of jokes that kind of fall flat, especially kind of in the middle portion of the movie, where the movie just kind of drags a little bit until we get back into that Dracula fun. But overall, a pretty fun movie. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I really, truly appreciate you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you comment, I will do my best to comment back as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good rest of your day.